Good hello, thanks for watching another random palm reading. This person has asked me a few specific questions about the signs seen in their palms here. Uh, a fish sign seen on uh, the Neptune Mount, otherwise known as the Ketu Mount. And I've been asked to read this person's palms, in particular paying attention to uh, fame, wealth, and their future aspirations, and how likely these are uh, to come to fruition. And so I'm going to focus here on a, a few of the signs I've seen. You know, here we have a, a sort of a, it looks like a kind of fish formation here that's developed. Um, and there's a few things going on down here, down at the Neptune Mount and Luna and, and the Mercury line and the formation of the Sun line here. And, and this is a fish that's kind of developing here as well. This is really interesting. Um, so I'm going to sort of explain what all these things mean in this reading, but um, first of all, I'm going to explain, you know, that this person has sent me some exceptionally clear images of the palms here, and, you know, I can see the skin ridge patterns nicely, I can see a lovely uh, loop of humour here, this person certainly has a great sense of humour, sarcastic, um, we've got a lot of fun to work with and be around. Their character, and to elaborate a bit more, it's very, there's a fullness of their character. You get a good sense of who they are uh, by just being around them for a few minutes. They're very genuine. What you see is what you get. Um, they are fun loving. And uh, I think they are quite, quite a loving person as well in general. Their capacity to love is quite strong. And although we don't see, you know, a, a strong bow to the heart line, it doesn't curve as much as. Uh, a typical heart line, it's relatively straight, it's very deep, it's very strong feeling, the strength of feeling with this person is very strong. So often a straight or a straight-ish heart line is categorised as someone who's quite cold, um, There's that's not always quite that straight forwards, it's not always that clear uh, cut. So that the, the depth of the heart line here is strong, and this shows a strong a strength of feeling. Also, the heart line it reaches right over onto Jupiter. This idealism, Jupiter represents the self, and Saturn represents our duty towards society, our contributions towards the wider world. And when we have a heart line that reaches uh, in between the two, it shows a well balanced nature. But a heart line that reaches even further over onto Jupiter, it shows an even greater feeling of um, how how we we must act in the wider world and what should and shouldn't be and it shows a great sense of idealism and this branches as well so what we have here is uh, an idealist and it's a sign of philanthropy as well this is someone who has uh, a great need to act in sort of charitable needs and the thumb as well it's it's very powerful it's very it, it's potentially part of what I'm getting out of the, the strength of the thumb here is the angle of the hand. It's it's not flat on, so that does distort finding somewhat. But look at the curvature of the thumb. This is always seen in someone who is um, emotionally motivated. They require a purpose to get behind in their job role, otherwise they're not satisfied. And I've seen this in the hands of, well, quite recently, a charity fundraiser. It's someone who, you know, really needs to feel as though the work that they're doing is of benefit to society and helping others. Otherwise, they they don't have any sort of job satisfaction. So whatever it is that this person is doing in life, they really need to to um, there needs to be a goal, an action plan, an end aim where they are achieving. Uh, in in supporting and helping others, otherwise there is no point in working in that role. Now the overall shape of the palm and the fingers is long, it's slender, the lunar mount is well developed, and um, it, it's showing, everything is showing here, a water hand, really. Um, and I've got a clearer idea by looking at the backs of the hands here. And there is a, a spatulate element, to this hand, this is quite a, an active person, but also a very imaginative and creative, intelligent, um, someone who has great access to their imagination and, 
and can work with the uh, many ideas that they have. So it's likely that they work in, or at least would work best in some sort of creative field. I notice here that the Saturn fingers are particularly long. This person has um, an excellent idea of what they are capable of. Apollo here and Jupiter appear to be of reasonable balance and um, they've grown somewhat in confidence over the past few years particularly but i do think that there is uh, a tendency to despondency and melancholia and depression uh, a kind of i feel like this person uh, isolates and withdraws somewhat and the more they put themselves out there the more they engage with others and take risks in terms of um, social confrontation, the more that they will expand their own uh, and strengthen their own ego and sense of self-worth, confidence and self-esteem. And, and this is what they really require in order to um, to, to fulfill, to, to gain a sense of fulfillment. And, and it would likely as well provide some opportunities for this person. So really just to elaborate, stepping outside of their comfort zones, and uh, trying out things that would otherwise scare them a little bit, exposing themselves to things that they are a little bit fearful about, taking the reins and trying to uh, carry out things that initially make them a little bit fearful, take the, take the lead, uh, take leadership roles wherever possible, even if it's something small, like going out for a drink with friends and getting on the karaoke. This will really help bring them out of their shell a little bit. And on that note, we have a life and a headline that's attached for a fairly long time. I mean, not an, an immensely long time, but it, this is the sign of the tortoise in Tibetan palmistry. And it's someone who's quite sort of cautious, slow moving. They won't take risks. Certainly not. This is someone who is a very good, you know, cautious planner, but in, in some ways perhaps too cautious and misses out on opportunities. And, and this is why I urge them to, um, to take a, a risk every now and then. The likelihood is it will pay off because they are probably still planning as they uh, risk without even realizing it. They're so good at planning. And the reason why I say that is because the headline is very straight. There's a nice curve that isn't, it's curving the right area here this is someone who is measured in their imaginative and creative thoughts they're grounded while at the same time as having a good well of subconscious thoughts to draw upon this person would likely thrive best in an artistic industry of some sort um, a literal artist a sculptor a painter potentially a fashion designer mm, actually maybe not we've got some sort of wasting here and maybe that would add to that now the combination of this person's uh, narrowed basal phalanx of saturn here along with the overall length of the saturn finger show this person is potentially not enjoying life as much as they should be they're not enjoying the fruits of their own labor as much as they should i really urge this person to focus more on themselves and to potentially actually stop thinking ahead so much and try to focus more on the present and on themselves. Now this person wanted me to emphasize on future fame and uh, wealth and their aspirations. Now the length of the Apollo and Jupiter fingers when they're even, uh, when they're of even length, which they're almost here, Jupiter's a little bit short and this is why I want them to strengthen their ego strengthen their self-confidence and put themselves out there once this is a little bit longer this will be um balanced uh, with their um their capabilities their abilities and and their idea of their what there is achievable will be in line with their capabilities and this is one of the signs of fame in palmistry so i'd like them to well, work on their own self-confidence in order to have more of a chance of achieve, achieving fame. They certainly have an excellent uh, amount of ideas 
where they um, require some improvement is how they action these ideas. I think there is you know, a, a great many part of this, this person's problems actually stem from a lacking of confidence. And, and part, part of this comes from you know, a very short Mercury. Uh, well, not very short, actually. You can see that it just about reaches um, the first phalanx of Apollo. But it's still very low set, and Apollo itself is on the short side. And this is all because of this long Saturn finger, really. It's it sort of um, you know it throws you off a little bit because you could you could interpret all of the fingers as short except for Saturn, or you could interpret it the other way around. For me, it's a long um, it's a long Saturn finger, and and the other fingers are actually a little bit short and. We have a wasting of the Apollo finger at the first knot, and um, this is quite commonly a sign of, um, and this this comes back to the confidence issue. It, it all stems from childhood. This person wasn't potentially provided with, you know, the necessary um, tools to to really build themselves up when they were young, and so now it's important that they. Uh, work on these things they realize and recognize their own strengths and their own worth and they start uh, to to mend these issues and um, to, to really fully understand uh, their own uh, capabilities because this person has exceptional skills for me, the fish sign in Palmer Street is a bit of a funny one, really, because there's several different types of fish, and there's lots of different ways. Uh, it's quite subjective how we interpret this sign. And sometimes, you know, just this sort of forking tail here at the end of a line is, is seen as uh, the fish sign, or just a sort of triangle itself, um, seen by the formation of other lines, is kind of seen as a fish. And this person has, you know, already interpreted on their left hand the sun line there is a fish. Um, but, you know, and I'm not entirely certain I see the same thing, but it's sort of like when you see faces in clouds or when you look for faces in things, you'll end up seeing them anywhere you like after a while. Now, that's not to say that there isn't some significance here because there, there certainly is, um, you know, even if I'm interpreting it as a teacher's square there's certainly a, a significant sort of spiritual um meaning behind this because when we pass on information there's 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 power in that and in itself there there comes quite a um powerful almost religious um ideology in passing on that information in teaching in itself you know um give a man to fish and he'll eat for a day, teach a man to fish, and he'll eat for a lifetime. And there's, there's, there's great wisdom in in that, and there's a great connection there. And I certainly think you could um, interpret the combination of, of you know convergence of of lines into one compound uh, conclusion. However, I think you could also interpret the uh, separate lines and their own meanings and compartmentalize um, and conclude from all those signs in the, in the same way and that's that's more or less the way I I work um, the, the fish sign is a highly spiritual sign and it's it's almost um, very sort of profound and religious and to see you know here we have is this person has already interpreted that they have it already quite strong on their left hand, and it's there's an almost that sort of shape on their right. It's forming. So I'm going to break down what these things, what I feel and think these things mean. What we have here is a Mercury line, and it's crossing the. It looks as though it's crossing the fate line right and, and sort of cutting into the Venus mount. And then we also have this curious line here. And 
I'm not entirely certain I would call this a success line. Perhaps that's what this person means, and you can kind of see it faintly. I mean, yeah, maybe you could call it a success line. It's very rare to see a success line this long, however faint. It suggests, if that's what we're looking at here, child prodigy, it, it, it suggests creative genius that's that's potentially been you know inherited from a past life almost and something i have noticed about this palm and i find it very interesting this too is part of the mercury line and it, it's how they developed their instincts this is more to do with their health and this is it's branching outwards branches it's upwards it's developing it's strong and when i look at the skin ridge patterns in conjunction you know it's sort of come into contact with this development of a potential sun line and i do think that's what this is a success line or apollo line i mean i'm starting to come to that conclusion so this this convergence here of instinct is creating this little triangle here triangles are always fortunate it's uh, strengthening um, it's a strong um, prosperous structure that has a potential kind of religious um, symbolism to it but also is very fortunate and prosperous when you pay close attention here to the skin ridge patterns down on lunar notice how they wrap upwards and around and sort of connect to this instinct there subconscious thoughts are directly linked with uh, instincts and this bank of um, imagination is contoured if you like by their instincts and it's directly connected to their headline they're very in touch with their subconscious thoughts with their imagination and ideas and I think the secret to their success certainly lies in elaborating on and expanding um, this, whatever this is, this tremendous um, creative and imaginative ability that sort of comes from a deep uh, and almost suppressed memory, an ancestral memory. This is an inherited skill. And I do think that if they, and we can see it up here strengthening after the age of, you know, 37, 36. And it seems to strengthen until the it reaches the heart line. And, and from there, it, it's not quite as strong. So I'm wondering if there's, in, in some way, if health is a barrier. Now, as if you know, or as they have already um, quite rightly identified this as a, a clear fish symbol here, out of the convergence of both a Mercury line and the Fate line, and the origins of these things are quite mystifying and highly profound. There's all, an almost sort of religious cause, um, a spiritual um, purpose to this per person's path in life i don't know if they fully yet realized that their their true cause their true purpose lies in a, a deeper uh, almost sort of locked away memory or skill that they've yet to fully um capitalize on realize and actualize i'm not sure this person has really had the opportunities in life at the, at the moment, at present, to, to to really work on themselves, to unlock and understand their, their true capabilities and their true worth. So far, I believe that the, the development of these potential, um, potential for achievement here is, is stemming from inherent and dormant abilities that they've yet to really utilize on and on gain the fruits of i think that they have profound and powerful 
uh, abilities here, capabilities that they've really yet to, um, to to bring out. And and once they do, when they do, they will uh, find opportunities, and and that's when their success will really grow. And and they'll they'll gain a great sense of happiness and um, a great sense of fulfillment in life. And and perhaps this. Um, Basil Phalanx of Saturn will start to fill out a little bit more because I'd really like to see this person uh, gain a sense of happiness through their hard work because at the moment in life they're not um, achieving as they should be. It might be that their current position in life, their current uh, position, um, their role, their work role isn't really allowing all that much opportunity to um, elaborate on and expand their uh, creative and subconscious thoughts which i think they in, inherently here they they have uh, the great gift of and i want to see a greater development of that and that and then we would see a, a more developed amount of lunar in the right hand and it all kind of stems back to um in, enhancing what they already have lying dormant and um working on their own self-confidence these once these things are uh, underway once they're being managed effectively then everything else will begin to fall into into place so kind of the second question was this um, pertaining to this line here this is an escape line and it's also um, part of a mercury line as well and it's it's a combination of two so there's a great desire here to escape and travel in towards the subconscious thoughts and this is combined with their ability to sense their um, subconscious awareness and success is directly linked towards both of these things that's what the convergence of these lines uh, mean and they've identified um, these this this line here reaching up towards this success line and uh, this secondary sort of mercury line you can see here there's a star formation here now it's not completely isolated as in it's it's connected to other lines so it's not a completely um a powerful sign in itself it's not completely it's not completely a star is what I'm trying to say and also it's very faint it's not quite fully formed anyway so it's important not to take too much meaning uh, away from from these signs that we might interpret in our hands that aren't quite strong enough and that aren't quite isolated enough this for me here is stronger because the clues here really lie in what I've just said escapism into the subconscious the unknown deep powerful imagination um, these ancestral kind of memories, this um, creative and imaginative skill that's lying dormant, and their ability to sense and perceive their uh, their nervous system, their own physical kind of awareness. All these things are combined. So there's the, the clue lies in this. Really, I think the the secrets to their success lies in this sign right here now if this does develop into something more it does become a bit more isolated and deeper and it's five points or more then this is really well it's quite a difficult sign to interpret really it could be one of a couple of things signs uh, star signs in palmistry are potentially very very good or very very bad either way they're very sudden shocking miraculous they are either very tragic or very brilliant they are um, increases in wealth and finance and in, in um, achievements in reputation or their sudden uh, injuries or uh, shocking moments of of harm in some way now this is the mercury line so it's our ability it's our nervous system so the star were to form on this line here connected to the sun line it could be and I would look for other signs. Um, one of two things, either a, a tragic sort of shock to the physical nervous system that affects their success, or it could be um, 
a sudden uh, moment of a brilliant achievement that's connected to their ability to perceive and sense the world around them, their awareness. Um, and I would look for other signs to really corroborate what this means, being that we have a strengthening of the sun line later on, I wouldn't, you know, say that this is anything negative. I would think that if this does strengthen, it's related to this here. I would think that if this strengthens, then they are in fact fertilizing on the things that I've mentioned that they should and need to be in order to um, fully become successful and, um, you know, achieve the reputation that they feel they need to and wealth in later life. So I feel that this sign here, this uh, this overall kind of fish sign that they've identified on Ketu or ne the Neptune Mount, it's quite a sp spiritual significance here. We are look at it here, and it's pertaining to an audience of some sort. This person has already asked about fame and and wealth and um, and their aspirations for the future, their dreams for the future. It's relating to um, a spiritual significance of how they engage with um, an audience in some way. There's uh, an almost religious significance, uh, a strong purpose uh, in life and how they will influence others in this way. And I, I think it, it has some sort of charitable uh, meaning in some way, you know, coming back to that kind of philanthropy uh, element to this person, their their strong depth of heart line, and how this branches out onto Jupiter. They have this strong idealistic sense of what they should be doing and how they should be impacting on the world, and that is what this relates to. That's what this relates to right here. So I think there's a, a strong um, spiritual significance here that they've yet to really fully awaken, and it relates to this. Here and I want to see this strengthen. I want to actually see this star develop. And once we do see these things, we'll start to see a strong sunline develop through the heart line here. Now, their third question was around the fish sign that's seen on the Jupiter Mount just here. And actually, what we're seeing here is if I break down all of the um, the lines that create this sign, we have ambition, um, which is at the age of about 18 here, we have a real need, a physical need to pull themselves out of their environment and to better their lives, uh, rising up on towards Jupiter. This is ambition. We have at the age, a few years before that, 16 or so, we have the uh, um, academic pursuits here, strengthening of skills, uh, mental faculties, writing, speech, language. Um, potentially even something artistic like music as well, because we have a, it's it's reaching over on up onto Apollo. It's not quite normally you'd sort of see it more sort of Saturn like this line here. There's a strengthening of um, their their career options here, which is seen early on in life. So this is the development of speech in itself. Um, you know, at the age of about four uh, or five or so. And it has a direct knock-on effect on their overall ability to achieve in life. And so these lines here, uh, combined with the heart line, how they think and feel about the world, this branch of the heart line over here, all together create this um, appearance of a fish on Jupiter. And, you know, it's it's not unreasonable to say that this is in fact a fish on Jupiter. And all these signs combined do create a very sort of uh, profoundly sort of religious and spiritual element because they have you know philanthropy because they have um the, their achievements their ambition and their academic pursuits their achievements in their creative endeavors all of these things combined create uh, the ability to teach and with their uh, their strongly sort of emotional motivated purpose in life uh, to impact on others and the, and the wider world this this all together is um, a very sort of spiritual and profound sign of 
um, a teacher of a sort. This is, uh, in a sense, a teacher's square uh, formed out of ambition and experience. And at the age of 22, this is where they really started to carve their independence. Now, at the age of 23, also we have here strengthening a strengthening of the mental faculties reaching right over into mercury this is um again a sign of uh, achievement of skills and it crosses the fate line and it gives us this impression of a mystic cross it's not a mystic cross because it's not isolated a mystic cross in palmistry is an immensely rare sign and it's very very rarely seen however there there is some significance of um, of what this means. It does have some uh, sort of spiritual and almost sort of psychic um, meaning behind it because it's the expansion of their mind crosses their life's path. It direct, comes into direct contact with their fate. They're quite literally changing their fate by strengthening their mental uh, um, capacity and so it does have it does awaken and expand areas of the mind so it does have some bearing on um, you know the subconscious uh, and the intuitive faculties now here we also see the heart line reaching down and touching the headline here and there's a, a branch that reaches down here as well now, this is, in fact, much closer to what um, I just mentioned, the Mystic Cross. It's almost, it's almost the Mystic Cross in itself. Um, and this, again, is, is this potentially some sort of experience where they themselves had come under some sort of threat or danger that... Um, has enabled a new insight in some way um i have a feeling that they have escaped uh, potentially some sort of fatal event here and the convergence of all of all these things creates a square from 35 right up to 46 so you you could say that they're their strengthening of their mental capabilities and uh, these academic pursuits early on has enabled them to um, you know provided some sort of protection around their career from from this time i do think if this person takes my advice and expands on their innate and hidden um imaginative and and um, almost sort of ancestral memories and capabilities um these skills that they've yet to unlock they will start to see a development of the strengthening of the sunlight along with the strengthening of their um, self-worth and self-confidence as well if they really begin to work on within they'll start to see a strengthening of the sunlight here now notice that actually we see um and sunline much much later on like and it's very very strong so this will begin to branch downwards and i actually think that all of the things i've mentioned already about you know advice as to what they should do in order to achieve what they want i think they've already begun doing this and i think that's why we start to see the development of this line here and once um once this continues this will actually begin to branch downwards and we'll start to see this branching upwards as well and it'll connect and meet here we can already see in the left hand there's already a fold of the skin here there's already a strong idea about what it is that they're going to do and how they're going to do it the career as well is beginning to develop um and so it, i feel like this person has been through quite a lot uh, particularly at the age of 35 um and i feel like they're just coming out of it now and and up until this point, really, their fate's been very fixed. But now they have great opportunities ahead of them because they have an ability to carve their own path. And I think that's what they're doing. They need a little bit of orientation, 
probably why they've asked for a palm reading. So I'm pretty sure I've covered just about everything here. I'm going to stop here and I feel like I've done an all right job here. You know, as I've said, I do feel this person has a tendency to um, shy away from um, things that, you know, make them uncomfortable. I want them to get outside of their comfort zone. I want them to purposefully expose themselves to those things that make them feel uncomfortable. You know, the, the, the length of this Saturn finger here shows someone who isolates themselves. Uh, and this square seen here, uh, inside the Venus Mount here, it really also, again, it kind of uh, corroborates this. There's there's some there's an isolation here. They they're kind of uh, confining themselves, and I want them to step outside of this uh, mentality. And, and by doing this, as I say, things will really start to fall into place. They will uh, expand their self confidence, and that confidence will allow them to. Uh, realize more things about themselves and it's this realization that we need right here in order to unlock everything else unlock this potential the potential for fame and success and happiness ahead so thank you for watching please let me know what your thoughts are about this reading i've enjoyed reading this part and i hope you will subscribe thank you very much and i'll see you on the next one